YouTube, so today we're going to talk about the origin story of Johann Sebastian Bach. Audiences today hear his exact and precise music and envision a boring and studious kind of guy. But come on, if that were the case, I wouldn't be making a video about him now, would I? Our current perception of him ignores a lot of evidence we have about his personal life and, in particular, his developing years. The famous British conductor Sir John Elliot Gardner has become a prominent Bach interpreter, and in two weeks he will have a book coming out that is going to completely change the perception of Johann Sebastian Bach's character. But this is an origin story, right? So let's start at the beginning. Johann Sebastian Bach was born in Eisenach in 1685. Bach, Eisenach. Rhymes. His family was extremely musical. His father, Johann Ambrosius Bach, was actually the director of all musicians in the town. His uncle, Johann Christoph Bach, was a prominent organist in the town, and his second cousin, who was older, Johann Ludwig Bach, was a well-known composer and violinist. Every guy in the family may not have been named Johann, but they definitely were all musicians. During his first three years of education, Bach attended the Eisenach Latin School, which was a school predominantly attended by well-to-do children of tradesmen. Perhaps well-to-do actually translates as spoiled brats, because documents from the time Bach went to school there show that the children were rowdy, subversive, thuggish, beer and wine loving, and girl chasing. There are also documented activities such as breaking windows and threatening people with daggers. There was also a rumor of brutalization of the boys. Now this could mean anything from a random slap to sexual molestation. And if the crime themselves were bad, the punishment was even worse. Children were often punished with severe beatings and then being threatened with eternal damnation, which is actually a very serious threat at that time. Parents were so concerned with the conditions of the school that they often just kept their kids home. And little Bach was no exception. During his three years at Eisenach, he was absent 258 times. And if that's not bad enough, when Bach was 10 years old, he lost both his mother and his father in the span of eight months. Suddenly an orphan, Bach was sent to live with his eldest brother, who was 14 years older than him. Also a Johann, duh. This older brother was the organist at Michael's Kirche in Ordorf. Young Johann Sebastian Bach, now 10 years old, was able to seriously delve into music studies. While living with his brother, he studied organ, clavichord, violin, composition, and voice. Now, because his older brother Johann worked for the church, younger Johann Sebastian attended the Klosterschule at Ordorf. Unfortunately, this school was not much better than the first. Bach's main teacher in theory and form, as well as the cantor for the church, was eventually going to become known as the villain of the town. He was fired for his intolerable punishments and for his sadistic manner of discipline. But by the time he was fired, young Bach had already spent quite an extensive amount of time working very closely with this guy. So we have the sudden loss of both of his parents and attending two separate schools that involved some serious physical and mental damages. It can only go up from here, right? Well, it certainly appeared to. At the young age of 14, Johann Sebastian Bach earned a scholarship to go study at the prestigious St. Michael School in Lüneburg. While this school was super important to the broadening of Bach's exposure to European music, it also exposed him, yet again, to more delinquency and poor behavior. His mentor at the school was believed to have been involved in an altercation at a local hostel that involved being extremely drunk and slashing at people with his dirk and hunting knife. This was Bach's role model while finishing school. So let's put this in perspective, why don't we? Imagine you are at elementary school, and all the other students around you are brandishing knives, drinking beer and wine, and getting involved in sexual activities. This sounds worse than any inner city elementary school I have ever heard of. Then imagine you are at middle school and you are working personally with a guy who punishes you so severely that he becomes known as the plague of the school, the scandal of the church, and the cancer of the city. Abusive teachers make big news headlines today, especially if they're involved in the church. And then we get to high school where a young 14-year-old freshman comes and is given a mentor who is a drunken and violent 
jerk. From your middle to late teens, this is really the main time, I think, that we start to develop who we are as a person and what our morals are. If he was shown that it's okay to overdrink and then slash at people with knives, I think that's gonna have a big influence on him as a person. With this origin story, it amazes me that Bach is perceived to be a quiet, boring, and conservative guy. After learning all this new information about his personal life, I've been listening to his music with a more informed ear. I'm hearing the depth of emotion in his music in an entirely new way, and now I think it sounds even more beautiful and perfect. As usual, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new. Please like and subscribe below, and be sure to check out the Facebook and Twitter page. As usual, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Until next week, reflect on your childhood and be very happy you didn't have one like Boss. Music